Yo. Yo. Oh. All right, let's get some tunes. All right, actually, yeah, let's get some tunes. I don't think I want to start with the end game music. End game music gets repetitive pretty quick. <clears throat> let's have some tunes of our own. How about that? Okay. I'm going to move this over here for now. That Mario cake and ice cream thing, I was uh, not expecting to see that pop up today, so that was weird, but cool, but weird. Anywho. Ooh, where did that come from in the song? God damn. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Having the triangle. There are eight small triangles. Remove four matches to make four triangles. One big triangle and three small triangles. However, you may not make small triangles inside the large triangle. Oh, wow, okay. That's interesting. Huh, okay. You may not make triangles inside the large one. So basically you have to do something like this, but I'm still supposed to remove one, which would be just like that, right? Oh, wow, that one was like a nice easy one to start off with for this stream. Okay, interesting. This inherited land is to be divided with two fifths going to the oldest son and the remainder going to the three younger sons. The will states, <laughs> the will states divide it with five matches. Why don't you have this backstory? Why is this, why is this prompt to need this kind of backstory? Why don't you just say, okay, whatever. Anyway, two fifths going to the oldest son and the remainder going to the three. Technically, the statement doesn't say the way that it's divided for the three needs to be even. So I think figuring out how to make sure two fifths is the first part. How do we make sure two-fifths? Well, first, let's bring out our five matches. Two-fifths. So if you split this down the middle, you got kind of like two triangles with little tips at the end. How would you split this into fifths? Well, let's just see what... Because it's the shape of a trapezoid, I want to see what it, if often they'll do stuff like that, where it's like, oh, trapezoid, see? But it looks like that's not the case here. Looks like that's not the case here. Or wait, this would have to be, yeah, that would go down, and then that would. So this actually can be one, two. Oh no, it wouldn't quite work out that way, okay. So we gotta figure out how to divide it. Also, hi, Dante. Hello. The first puzzle, I, you, I might have even beat it before you got here, I wasn't sure. It was, uh, it's actually really easy. Surprisingly. Five matches to divide. So two, so we need to divide it into fifths somehow. I think that's the main problem. How do I divide it into fifths so that I can at least I don't have to, have to, I technically don't have to divide the whole thing into the fifths. I just need to make sure one part of it is fifths. So for example, if I go like triangle, triangle, big triangle, how much is a big triangle here worth? I think that's my problem. I'm not sure how to divide this into two fifths. How do I make, how do I get two-fifths from a trapezoid? 
I don't remember that from geometry. I don't remember that lesson in the quiz in geometry. Find two-fifths of a trapezoid. Well, let's think here. Okay, I have an idea. Imagine you have an imaginary line going down here and you slice this off and you kind of move it over here and place it in this spot. I believe that would leave you with like a kind of a square-ish shape of three by three. Something along those lines. Something like a three by three-ish. And if you have a square that's three by three, how would you make a square that's three by three into fifths? I don't know, right? Because this is one, two, three tall. So basically, imagine that. Yeah, basically, you're picturing this, where it's like, and then this is cut, cut off and placed where this is made. So you have a square. How would you divide a square? and get two-fifths. Well, to get fourths... How would you get ten? So if you go in half, you go right down the middle. And then... I mean, I'm trying to get to, like... It might be easier to get to almost get to tenths. That way, then you can change it and know what the fifths are. Because fourths to fifths aren't quite the same. You can't, like, convert them the same way. So if you have a square like this, go down as half, and then each side you go like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Interesting. Okay. A <laughs> A equals A is it the length of the top line? B is the length of the bottom line. A is the length of the top line. B is the length of the bottom line. Which in this case... Or, you, or is that for a trapezoid? That's for a trapezoid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. B is the length of the bottom line. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I was, I was in the... I was... I was having a brain blast. Basically, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then you have a line down the middle. So if you wanted two fits, it would basically be an entire half split down the line, but then you need to do that. Yeah, so 4 plus 2, 6, divided by 2 is 3, times the height is 3. The height is basically 3, if you just go like this. We can kind of make the assumption that it's 3. So the area is 9. 9 whatever, 9, you know, match, match, matches squared. <laughs> so what would 2 fifths of 9 be, though? Yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah, again, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was, basically ended up with what I said where I was like, it's basically a 3x3. Three three. Which is fine. You helped confirm my theory, which is appreciated. <laughs> so, let me think. If if I divided it into tenths, which was like, you know, the five the five, the four separators, I think it was, so that you had geometry class today. The four separators, so you have one, two, three, four, five, split down the middle, 
and then you would have five more on the right side of the square. Two fifths in tenths would be uh, four tenths. So that'd be one, two, three, four of these sections. Um, how do we figure out, okay, so the, how much would this triangle be then? How much area is the area of one of these triangles? It would be half of, the triangle would be half of nine. Like the nine cubic. So it'd be four and a half. Which is... Is... Four and a half... Would be over... And it would be half exa exactly of the thing. Which is not a fifth. Or not two fifths, because two fifths is 40%. 40% of 9. So it has to be less than the triangle then? Am I crazy? Are you following at all <laughs> on what on my tangent here? You kind of can assume it's a square. Well, I guess the triangle isn't half of the square, is it? The triangle isn't half of the square. It's less than half of the square. Hmm, the triangle's less than half of the square. That's right, technically, because it's not, right? Or let's see, it's like one and a half, one. Okay, let me see this again. We got a three by three. Three by three, but this triangle is less than half. So is the full triangle, is the triangle, I'm gonna make an assumption here that this triangle is two fifths. That, I know that sounds like kind of dumb, but uh, I'm just gonna do that for a moment. <laughs> so if we needed to divide the rest by three, what would be a way to do that? You could go like this and like this. Just like make two random shapes, right? Or straight up here. I, I don't think this is right. I don't think the, the other part of the split is correct, but I'm not... Um, I, I think the first idea of the triangle is potential. I'm gonna click the hit button now because it's been over 10 minutes. So let's just see. How many three match triangles would fit in here? I suppose that is one way to try to do the math, isn't it? That is one way to try to do the math game. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen small triangles. Right? Fifteen small triangles. So two. What's two fifths of fifteen? Two fifths of fifteen. So you split it into fifths. That'd be three triangles is one fifth. So then the whole bottom row is two fifths, right? Is that incorrect? But then how are you supposed to split the top? Because you need to split the top among three other... Well, I guess you could go triangle, triangle, and then the rest?
Hmm. What up, microwavey? This one is kind of crazy. This one's kind of crazy to start. Well, I, we've done, I've done, uh, we've done a couple, but this one is a little wild. <laughs> the prompt is unnecessary in terms of story, and the math has been right one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm bringing out the calculator to maintain sanity. 2 divided by 5 equals that, times 15 equals 6. Okay, so I was right, 1, 2, oh, okay, that's not 2 fifths. I forgot there's the middle triangle that makes that 7. You're right, exactly, exactly. So instead, we need 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You need something like this, and then here you go. Let's see. I don't feel like this is the right shape we want to be making. What do we want to do to split one, two, three, four, five, six? So the octagon on the top would work, and then you have the trapezoids to make it even. There you go. That's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Oh, you said the same thing. Yep, yep, yep. I got there, I got there. Good work, good work. Glad to see, glad to see we both got it. Okay. 12 matches were used to make one large square with four small squares. Move four matches to make three contiguous squares of the same size. Continuous, not contiguous, Jesus. Did I say continue? I don't know what I said. Point is, we need to make three squares of the same size by moving four matches. Just one of those things where it's like continuous, but like kind of not continuous. Where it's like just the corner of them are touching or something. You know what I'm trying to say? Like this. It's like they're continuous, but they're not, they're not like really continu- They are, but they aren't. I think it's this. Or some variation of this, yeah. Boom. You didn't have to put it in that bottom right corner. You could have really attached it to just about any corner and I think it would have worked there. So nice. Nice, and, nice to get an easy one. Move one match to make the equation works. Oh, we love these, don't we? These are always our favorite. Okay. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 6 is 1, but that's not going to work. Um, 9 minus backwards 6 also doesn't work. Let's see. One minus two is one. You can only move one match, so you can't go with a nine minus eight kind of strategy, so that's not gonna work. Instead, we need to look more at, let's see. The interesting thing about these twos is you can't really turn them into anything with just moving one match. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't add a match here and make it a number, or add a match here and make it a number. You also can't really, like, do this. The only way thing you could do would be like this, but that's also not anything real. So I think it's, I think the focus here has to be on the uh, seven and the, and the nine. So I think three minus two. 3 plus 2 is 5, and this is 5. Alright, not so bad. Eliminated the ones that really couldn't work by eliminating the 2s made that a lot easier to focus on what we needed to, what we needed to mess around with there. Good. Alrighty, let's play with 9. There are two matches arranged here. Arranged, I guess. They're there. 
Add seven matches to make six squares. All right, well, we've done things like this before. Probably. Which means it's probably going to be different. But let's see. I imagine we want something where we got some of these. Uh, I guess not, huh? Interesting. Those are... Because we can't do this. I guess, no, we can do this, right? Because one big, two, three, four, five, and then six with the big one. Yeah, that's, I assume this is right. Hey, there we go. All right. Got some nice ones. Got some nice ones. We're in it. We're in it. I'm just realizing. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Just checking. Make sure things aren't overlapping. Fix the formula. Once again, move one match to make the equation work. Okay. Sure. So, I think the two cannot be changed, similar to the ideology from the recent math question. So, that means we should look elsewhere. This can become a nine, kind of, but not really, because it needs the bottom. This can become a six, because it's got everything else, and this can become a three. Two times six, uh, that was, that's just it. I didn't even really look at the left half of it yet. I was just taking a piece. That's the answer. Three times four is 12. Two times six is 12. You can make the two into a three by moving the piece from the two to the three. That's fair. That's fair to say, Dante. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Good one. Good thing to keep in mind in the future for sure. Hey, Elemental. Howdy. All right, spaced out squares. There are two squares which are spaced apart. Add four matches to make three more squares. We only want to make three more, huh? So we want five total squares, is that correct? This would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's too many. So instead, they want us to do what? They're spaced out on purpose somehow. Ah, is this going to be one of these situations where you do an overlap so you get an extra square in here? Perhaps. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Not quite. If we could reach the other side, perhaps. So let's be a little more. I don't know if we're, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it's quite possible to reach there on both ends. Hmm. Seems slightly out of reach to do that. You know what I'm trying to say? Overlap on both. You get the one, the two, the three, the four, and then the big one. Seems a bit off though. Seems slightly off. What if I did it like this, where I just took one half? I can't do that because then you can't get the bottom to it, okay? Fair. Fair point. Let's see. Don't hit reset because then you have to pull all the matches back. Oh, you see it? All right, don't don't tell me yet. Don't tell me yet. These ones we can usually figure out. Let's see. Add three more squares, huh? Three more squares. If I do like one of these, and then I feel like. You add some sort of split, perhaps? This one would be one, two, three, four. Hmm, kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird, huh? Just 
two, three, four, five. We need, we need five total. So, what if I did... One, two, three, four... I mean, technically this is five, right? I don't feel like that's the answer, though. Yeah, I feel like they want a cleaner answer, right? Because technically that's one, two... Three, the big one. Four, the small one. Five. So technically this is right, but probably not because they want things to be flush. Which is fair. That's They have been, for the most part, uh, you know, <clears throat> consistent on that, I would say. So let's see. If we're not doing that... And it's surprising, I'm really surprised the answer wasn't uh, doing like the, the corner overlap type of deal. That's what I would have expected, but it's not quite enough room. Hmm. Is there some sort of diagonal? Like having a square diagonally that would do anything? I don't think so, right? Not that I can think of. Not that I can think of. I'll give it another 20 seconds and then perhaps check the hint. Perhaps check the hint. Um, I need to stop maybe thinking about this uh, in the middle thing and, and recalibrate. Look at the problem a little different. Let's check the hint. We're at five minutes. Try to connect squares. Try to connect squares. Try to connect squares sounds like what I was saying before. But I feel like it's too... I feel like it's not enough room, no? I suppose I should try it just to see, but I feel like it's not quite enough. Yeah. Interesting. Is there a way for you to give me a hint, Dante, without uh, making it completely obvious? Am I on the right... Is this on the right track or no? How about that question? On the right track or no here? Try to connect squares. Try to connect squares. Interesting. Try to connect squares. The wording of it makes me feel like it should be this, but the output of it, the physical thing of it seems a little bit small. You'll use the sides. That's what they mean by connect. A little bridge of squares. All right. Well done. I think that was a reasonable hint. I was, I mean, I was, we were kind of on the track there. I was saying how else would I connect and all right, anyway. Funky formula, 36,005 equals 14. That's a strange formula. Add one match to make this equation work. So we don't even touch anything. We just add a square, huh? Or add a, add a match. Adding one match isn't enough to do a uh, square root symbol. So that can't work. Um, hmm. That can't work. Add, I mean, 
not equal to 14? Imagine though, exclamation point not equal to 14. That would have been easy, easy answer. Exclamation point equals sign, not equals two. Would have been nice. Oh, sorry about the fan there. That was uh, not intentional. I think the fan just got all mis messed up. Whatever. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, I guess. Oh, that was an ugly noise. You think you got it? It's dumb. That's always good. Um, Nightbot is frozen. Let's see. Let's see. So we have one match to work with. Three thousand seven hundred five. Is this like an upside down thing? Pi equals su su. I don't think it is it an up is, is it an, it's not an upside down thing right now. Hmm. I need more time to think about this. This is a weird one. This is definitely a weird one. Oh god, I'm gonna So the five is an S. Or it's, we change it, but I hope it's not that, because then that would make, I think that would be too much of a hint. Um, is this one of those time formulas, or like day, or dis, like a unit? 3600 seconds? Is... One hour? Okay. They got us with the time unit stuff. Yeah, I tend to not remember about those until it's too late. Well, not too late, but that it's been a while. Yeah, okay. Reduce the squares. There are 10 squares. Remove three matches to decrease the number of squares by five. Three, huh? Four. So I removed three. Oh, that even means I have to get rid of like the big squares too. So and I can't really let these L's stay. I'm just gonna do a little messing around and see what we get left with. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's put this back for a moment. We did this, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's annoying. I just wanted to move stuff around, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, because that one wasn't in place. Let's see. You definitely have to take out one part of the middle so you don't get the big squares, that's for sure. Definitely gonna have to take out one of the middles and then you need to somehow kill off two more squares with, you basically have to, yeah, I mean, you need to kill off five squares, but. Let's see. And you kind of have to keep faintness flush as usual. If you take out these, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Obviously this is a terrible one. It only takes out itself. So that's not a good choice. need to take out like another one of these weird uh, 
you need to take up two squares with these last two matches. Hmm. How do we take out two more squares here? Let's think. Let's think. How do we take out two more squares with just two matches? Doing that doesn't do anything because it's not going to like this shape. So we can't do that. Oop. Move back here. Perhaps I should even put this back and just start f fresh? You can't really do that though. Because then that's broken. That only gets rid of one, so I don't think that's probably good. That leaves you with six, but we need five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, I'm not sure one you which one you meant microwave because of delay, unfortunately. Hmm. We have to remove three matches to decrease the number of squares to five. Maybe we do keep a big square? No, that couldn't be right. Could it? Because that technically is a square. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Maybe you're talking about that kind of a theory that I was mentioning before. Because this technically is sort of flush and that it's keeping stuff there. One, two, three, four. But then you can't remove one with one. What is this? One. But then you then that one's not one, so I don't think that works, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like it's something where there where you have like leaving a big square. How do I get rid of one without messing up the rest? Can't be that, because then you have a rectangle thing. Can it be this? And you keep this? No, because then you lose that. Same reason I can't do this. Hmm. A bottom one. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. This one. One. No, 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 no. A bottom one. It would have to be this one, because you need this big square shape. So you'd have one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay, yeah. So to move three matches to decrease the number of squares to five, you have this one big square. You have this square. So now we're on two, three, four, five. There we go. It doesn't say the squares have to be the same size. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, wait a second. Okay, uh, reset and hint. Leave two squares on the top and three on the bottom. Uh, 
<laughs> Yo, what? Leave three squares on top and two. Two on top and two on the bottom. I can't believe that answer wasn't the answer. Just look at it again. Look at it again, right? It was... No, it wasn't that. What would, what would I do? This? One, two, three, four, five. Or wait, maybe I have to take them off? Maybe I didn't take them off off. Did I take them off off? I don't remember. Oh no. Tema, this answer is technically correct based on how we've done other puzzles before. If you don't know what I mean, I will explain. Remove three matches, decrease the number of squares to five. One. That's a small one. You can see the cursor, right? One small one, two small ones, three small ones, four small ones, and one last big one. They've done a lot of overlapping big one stuff before, so that should work, but it does not. For whatever reason. So... Apparent... So then I checked the hint because... I didn't know what to think of that. Leave two squares on top and three in the bottom. Two on top and three in the bottom. Well, that would leave two on top. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe that answer doesn't work. Oh, I'm so sad. All right. Um... Doesn't matter. How do I leave three in the bottom? This is stupid easy now. I think I'm just too, I think my mind's still too focused on the previous answer. Yeah, I figured I see this, but then this keeps that there. This keeps... Like, usually they want the flush shaped. Right? So then you just do this and this. Oh, no. That's already... No, 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 no. Three in the bottom. Two. Right now, there's five. But we need to remove two. We need to remove two with two matches. So... One, two... No. One, two, three is six, so it can't be that. Yeah, I think two matches on the bottom is more likely to happen. I, I, I'm just still on the... My mind's not able to get over that other answer not working. That's the problem. My mind's not over to get... <laughs> my mind's not... I'm not able to get over the fact that the other answer that worked doesn't work. Or it does work, but it's not what they want. bottom I think part of it is also that now I'm like what rules are we even following anymore you know what I mean <laughs> I'm just like what are we even doing anymore um hmm okay so then I do this I did it before you said that in chat. I think you. I did that before you said it in chat. I swear to God, I did that before you said it in chat. I did that before you said it in chat. <laughs> There's delay. I swear to God, I didn't see you say anything about the one, two, three, one, two, three, whatever. I don't even know what you said. Okay, planting flowers. Well, that's a good for this song because this song is uh, you use the flowers to get speed boost in Mario Odyssey in this song. 
Inside a fence made from 16 matches. There is a house made of four matches. In the remaining space, add 10, oh boy. 10 matches to make five flower beds of the same shape. What? Let me read this again. House made from four matches and the remaining space. Oh, so you just, they just want squares? Is that what is that what they mean by that? Well, let's start with this. It's usually a good place to start is by dividing in the center. I hope that's what they mean. Let's see. In the remaining space, add 10 matches to make five flower beds of the same shape, but not of the same size. 16 matches. There's a house made from four matches. In the remaining space, add 10 matches to make flower beds of the same shape. One, two, three, Oh, that's not gonna be, that's too many. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's like one of them Tetris types. This is like, this is basically like one of those Tetris ones that I usually do. Is that, is that what we're doing here? Or no? That doesn't work because of, you'd have to do it differently. You have to do it like this, right? No, that wouldn't work either. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This. Go one. Go boom, boom. Usually I first try these, if that's what it is. Um, good luck, you have to go. All right, all right, all right. Thanks thanks for chilling, Dante. I know you, I'm glad you've been liking these. You've been coming by for them. Okay, okay. I Am I, am I at least... Um, you guys think I'm on the right track that it's one of those uh, Tetris-shaped kind of ones that I usually get pretty decent? Let me move this out of here for a second. Move this out here for a second. Let me, uh, let the boy think. Okay, you do. All right. I, I do too, based on the wording and like the weird shape that we have to start out with and work around. It's kind of similar. It's just the, the prompt of it is really different from the others. Usually it's just, here's a shape, split it into this many evenly. <laughs> And then, and then you get like a weird shape kind of deal. This is just a particularly weird one. This song is uh, also particularly weird. So what I'm trying to think of is like, how do we get around this corner? It's kind of what I'm basing my thoughts on. So I'm, at first I was thinking, okay, small L's is not bad. Um but perhaps that's not correct. What if you did groups of three? Three, just three, three by three, rec three by one rectangles. One, two, three, four, not quite. They have to be the same shape. So that doesn't work. If you don't know what I was kind of trying to get at, I was basically, you can kind of picture that's a three by three. This is a three by three. You split this these two and half, but then you're left with a little L shape. So that doesn't work. But what it does tell me doing that exercise is that splitting them into groups of the shapes being uh, sort of like three cubed, uh, three squares big for each will add up to the remaining space. So they need to be three, you know, squares big or whatever. The same shape, huh? So... 
What would it need to be to be? Oh wait, so it is an L. All right, all right, never mind. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I was just doing this wrong. I think, right? I I I think this is actually super easy now. Now that I've confirmed that it's the sizes are threes, this is actually so easy. I don't. E I didn't even count the number of matches. It was just obvious. It was just obvious. I just didn't start the right way after doing the corner. That's all. Why is this not getting straight? Thank you. There we go. I hope that was fairly reasonable to understand. The thought process there. Here is a shape made from 16 matches. Add eight matches. Same shape, same area. Okay. Here is a shape made from 16 matches. Add eight matches to divide the four shapes with the same structure and area. All right. Similar puzzle, different shape, and also doesn't have a like randomly weird prompt about flowers and houses for some reason. Why is that? There's no, like why? Why was the last one about flowers and stuff, but it's basically the same problem as this, but with different shapes and whatnot. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, we need four shapes with the same structure and area. So four, so this is, how big is this in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> so that means they're all three sized again three squared sizes basically so let's uh, think for a moment if we did something like this close close I think that's just it I, I didn't really fully look at it yet but I'm going to assume I am correct and I think I am right Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot to put this one in the middle. There we go. That one actually I did do first try. See, I am usually good at those ones. <laughs> well, yeah, it is the same as getting weird backstory. The, the part that makes it weird is that some of them have the weird backstory and then some of them don't. You know what I mean? It's like, why are only some of these... It's like some other guy worked on it, so he wanted to make a story. Anyway. Remove as many matches as necessary to make the largest number divisible by eight. Okay. So, likely gonna be a three digit number starting with one. And then, let's see, 80 times 80 plus 40 is 120. 120 minus 8 is 112. I'm just gonna assume it's 112. How do I make a 2? There we go. Because you can't have the numbers connect, so usually the first two numbers are gonna have to be 1s here. And then 2 for 112. Easy. Okay, okay, okay. Triangles from six to three. Twelve triangles were used to make six equilateral triangles of the same size. This song is awfully intense for a little square puzzle, but little square and triangles, but move four matches to reduce this from three equilateral triangles or two e three equilateral triangles. However, two of them must be the same size. We have to move. We don't remove. We just move. Usually, you want one of these big triangle kinds of shapes. Aggressive math time. I didn't actually look at. Did I? Did how many do we need? Oh, three. One. Oh, this is too many. Oh wait, but. No, that's four. Or no, it's not. Yeah, it's four. So we need... 
less triangles. Move four match, reduce this to three triangles. Then we have one big one, two big one, one small one, one small one. So we need that to not be true. We, I'm gonna skip this song because it's got words. That's distracting. Make the big one even bigger. Okay, it's an idea. That is an idea. Let me look away for 20 seconds real quick. Hmm. Even bigger, huh? So you would have to basically make two extra triangles. Da, 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 da. Okay, we'll try it out. Let's reset. I think actually resetting is what I would like to do here. Boom. Two of them must be the same size. So one really big one. Doesn't look like that's gonna work. Does not look like that is possible. So. Reset. Then we have this hanging. One, two, three, four. That is still not enough. Or wait, I think I actually might have just had something. Hold on. No, no, I didn't, right? Because then if I, even if I do this, this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's still too many. What if I kept this here and moved to this? That doesn't change it, right? But it's still four. You need one mat. You you only need one match to make an inner triangle. Yeah. That is true. This is four triangles. We need three triangles. So if I made this a bigger triangle, what would that look like? What would that look like? Oh, put this. I don't think we can make a bigger triangle, right? can't make a 3x3 three three triangle, I don't think. Three by three just won't work. So... I feel like I'm... Didn't I just try it? Oh, delay, 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 delay. Not bad. Unless there's a different way to make a three triangle that, I, that I'm somehow pepega, pepegging up. I don't think so. What about if you do... Am I pepegging? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. How? One, two, three, one, two, one, two. You need two more. Mike, what am I miss? I'm. I feel stupid. Let's check the hint. It's been five minutes. There are six matches on the inside. Are fine the way they are.
So I can move these. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that won't work. No. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I feel stupid. That's still four triangles, right? Fuck. The six matches on the inside. That's all of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to move one, two, three, four. Like, probably these. And then... But how am I supposed to move one of these? Wait a second. The six on the inside are fine. What? That's fucking me up. The six on the inside are fine? But I have to move four. If I move these two, and I move this, I can't... Fuck. This one's fucked. Unless... No, they have to be equilateral. No, 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 no. Oh, you're saying... Yeah, 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 okay. You were saying like this. For the, for the big one. But that's not true either still. Right? The song is like too hard. Chill. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Let's calm down. Six matches on the inside are fine the way they are. That's crazy. I guess it's... Okay, so... You can do that... What is it? One, two, three, four. I'm fucked up right now. What? Because if you move this, then these two are just here fucking up. Oh, what up, RPB? We're on. We're stuck right now. We're we we're stuck on one. We have made some good progress. I think I, we started at 17, somewhere around there. The hint in particular is messing me up. The six matches are on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six are fine the way they are apparently. Meaning, I would expect that I'm not supposed to touch them. That's fucking insane. Is there anything here? No. Right? If I take this off, there's the lines hanging. Same for this. I can't take it this in the middle because then you get a weird shape. And I'm not supposed to touch the middle ones anyway. <sighs> hmm. This one's tricky. I feel like it's something like this, but maybe I moved the wrong ones to, to get there. I can't, I'm not supposed to move a middle one though. What? What? I'm not supposed to move a middle one though. Yeah, the, it says the six matches on the inside are fine. Which I assume that means all the ones in the middle. Hold on. 
let's think. Your idea. Okay, I s let's see. Your idea involved doing this. Since Isn't this just short? We're missing pieces? We don't, have enough, we don't have enough things we can move to do that? Or what, did I fuck up? I could have fucked up. I don't think so. I'm gonna stick with the hint and try to mess with what the hint says. The six matches on the inside are fine the way they are. We need to move four matches to create three equilateral triangles and two of them must be the same. How is it short? Because I'm not allowed to move any more pieces. That's where our disconnect was. No worries, no worries. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Can't move the middle pieces. Can't move the middle pieces. Why can I not move the middle pieces? That's insane. How, how are we supposed to not move the middle pieces and not get fucked up with like uneven piece, uneven shit? Wouldn't you have to do something like... You know what I mean? Something like this. But I already moved a piece on the inside. That has three and two of the same size, but this line is fucked. It's <laughs> this song is funny. That's four. So that doesn't work because that's four triangles. Man, this one's owning me. What the heck? Triangles from six to three. Hmm. Six matches on the inside are fine the way they are. That's fucking that that's fucking me up. I don't understand. Six matches on the inside are fine the way they are. Once I got to this point, sorry. Once I got here, I was like, I need to be able to kill uh, a triangle with each line. Uh, so I was like, okay, there's one. How can I kill a triangle with one line? Boom, there it is. Yes! I think I, think I could have done it going that diagonal way, but it was harder to see or whatever. So, okay, okay, okay. Move two matches to make the equation work. Three times six equals four times three. False. False and untrue. Let's see, we can get like an easy nine by like, boom. Set, what's seven times six? 40 something. 42? Nine can't go into 42, though. 
So I don't think it's that. Excuse me. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold. I haven't even looked at the other half. I was just thinking, like, imagine if it's a divide or some shit. But I don't think it. I don't think it is. I don't think they would go division to be a fraction. That would be kind of crazy. That'd be kind of crazy. Although... Wait a second. There's no way the game is gonna allow this, right? Three over six is one half, four over eight is one half. No way, no fucking way. I knew it, I knew they wouldn't do it. I'm too smart for the game, dude. I'm too smart for the game. Though that would be kind of dope, right? Imagine, imagine though. They should have had me test this game. Cowards, exactly, cowardly. Too advanced. Okay, 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 all right, all right. Relax, relax. Okay, so... That would have been so badass. Okay, so let's think. Three times eight is 24. Four times six is 24. Is that a thing I can do? Somehow? I don't think so. I don't think, can I just like add some stuff here? I don't think there's a way to, I don't think there's a way to make that happen. I don't think there's a way to make that happen. What about... Mm. I mean, you can always do this to get a two, right? So that's something to look at. Look, look at. Right, you can always do that kind of thing. Um, though it would be more likely to be this and then this. Wait, this works? Wait a second, this works too! I don't even have to move a second one. But I guess since I have to move one, it's like, still reasonable, I guess. Um, alright then, cowards. Uh, let's see, five. There's no way it's gonna be a five, that would be insane. Five wouldn't make sense. Even if you did like six, like it, uh, there's no way it's a five, right? That'd be crazy if it was a five. 20? Nah, no way it's that. Nine times three. There's like no, nothing else that would go into nine times three. So, yeah, the, the sort of like the 24 or 36 or something. What is it, nine times uh, four is 36? Is that correct? And then six times six is 36. I don't think that's happening though, right? You basically have to make every number bigger to do that. So I don't think that's the answer. I don't quite think that's the answer. This is a little... I don't need... Uh, I'm hitting the army music section. I must have had gone through a bunch of army music. Army game music at some point. Okay. Refocus. Refocus. Three times six. Man, it would be so cool if that fraction one worked. That would be dope. Genius. Mmm, let's think. It's probably not five. It's probably not five. What would even... I mean, if you did like... No, because then you have to remove both of these to get a four. Or sorry, what was I doing? Yeah, no, if I did four times five, four times five, that's not happening. That can't be done. 
So instead... What's three times eight? Three times eight is 24. Four times six, 24. I already talked about that one, but we're just short one, right? We're short two. We're short two if we do that. So, hmm. You can make a nine out of one of these threes with just one line, or which is usually kind of what you want to do. Um, four times three is 12, but nine times whatever. So, nine times two is 18. Three times six is 18, right? Three times six is 18. Two times nine is 18. But again, you can't get the pieces we need. So that's not right. What's seven times three? Seven times three is 21. Definitely the same as nine times six. Definitely the same as nine times six. If you take these off, seven by six, I think we already went over this one, 42, which is some, wait. Oh my God. So, okay, here's what I just thought, right? I was like, okay, seven by six. If you kind of, how would you get that with with times three? You would get it with 14 times three. It's like, how can you get six from three? You multiply it by two. Seven times two, 14. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I wasn't sure at this point. I wasn't sure at this point if that was gonna actually be the answer or not, because... <laughs> because the, the other things didn't work, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't actually sure if it would like that or not. Okay, thank God. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whew. Nice. There are four matches arranged here. Add nine matches to make it, make it approximately 30 centimeters. What? Oh my god. Okay. What is that? What the? I didn't grab the right part of the window. Just trying to drag. Drag some things on here. Okay. 30 centimeters. I assume it doesn't actually want me to just write 30 centimeters, but you know what? That's what we're gonna start with. I imagine it could be three meters and try to be like trolley, but let's just do what they say. 30. Yeah, so it's obviously not real big three, unless it was a, a little big three. Would that be enough? A little big three and a little CM? No. But meters. Oh, point three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the wrong. I I did it the wrong way. Thirty. Hmm. Um, what's after centimeter? Nanometer? No. Is it nanometer? No. Uh, what? It, what's it called? I don't think it's that, right? You're pretty sure you know that. What's the? 
What's the unit of measurement milli? Uh, that doesn't help either because it's still an M. Okay. Well, maybe it does. But I doubt it. And you would need a bigger number anyway, so, right? Yeah, the jank M, that's true. The box M. But I already did the smallest three and the smallest zero, so I don't suppose, I can't, I don't really see how I'm gonna get a C out of here. It's about a foot though. I feel like, I feel like if it's not exactly a foot, it's not gonna like it. Which ones are the unmovable ones? Thirty inches? No. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Twelve inches? Oh my god, move. No, I'm short. One foot. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that moon face is so good, dude. That moon face is so good. Alright, I'm checking the hint. Thanks, bro. Unit of measurement. There are four matches arranged here. Add nine matches to make it approximate. Oh, approximately though. Oh, approximately. 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 Or feet. If it's not foot, then it's feet. Yeah, all right, dude. All right, dude. Unit of measurement, feet. Approximately is the keyword on that one. Okay, okay. It's been almost an hour and a half. My water has been empty for a little bit and I've been sitting for a while. So, I want to stretch time and I don't want you to look at it because I haven't looked at it yet. So I would like us to look at it at the same time. So, I have to pee. I'll be right at the bake. And we shall continue.
You know what I'm excited about? I think maybe I should check. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow <laughs> because <laughs> beginning <laughs> of October, <laughs> which as we all know is when Mario 35 is coming out. And I will be doing an extra stream, Thursday stream. I might even be able to start it way earlier in the afternoon. There is something I have to do at 12, but I don't know how long it's going to take. And, I th and I'm going to exercise in the morning. And so hopefully that I can play that tomorrow. I'm excited. I think it should be a good time. <sighs> There's one. Also, just in general, you know, October, Halloween time, etc. Fall. Always good. For some reason, my toe, my right foot, big toe, the left side of it, like kind of like right where the nail, like the left part of the nail touches, you know, whatever intersects the skin or whatever, is like painful to the touch. Don't know why that is. It's a little concerning. Doesn't visually look all that different from my other foot at the moment. But like right now, putting pressure on it by having it be stuck back there is kind of uncomfortable. So I don't know why that's the case. I ever watch Mizkif? He's trying out his YouTube persona right now. All right, we'll have to check it. We'll have to take a look. Actually, we'll have to take a look after I stretch. Because, yeah, I want to I want to see that. I actually don't wa watch Miz that often anymore. Um, though I, a lot of that's because I'm streaming myself a lot in the, the evening, which is when he's usually streaming. And then also, hi, Toby. And also, I don't care about Minecraft and some of the other games that he's been playing lately. So it's like not my thing. I did watch him quite a bit, probably like you know, as, as he was getting bigger and once he was like blowing up, but I'd say in 2020, not, not nearly as much as early 2019, like the first half of 2019, later half of 2019, probably more, way more Ludwig than Mizkif. Though Ludwig also starts even later than Mizkif, so a lot of the times I don't get to see his streams, but when they do, I usually watch them. Or used to watch them. That would be one of the more disappointing... Oh, I guess I kind of kind of already feel like this, but... Ugh. Not being able to watch my favorite streamer smile because I'm streaming is a bit, uh... sad. <laughs> Not, maybe sad's a little too strong, but can be a little, uh, it can be a little sad. I mean, come on. Favorite streamer smile. Toby, I don't know if you have got all your rainbows yet. I think I still need one or two more to get the, uh, other equip from beach and then could continue to get the gems maybe make it back in time you did make it back in time we have made progress I don't remember which question it was that you left on but we just finished question 31 and we're on question 32 now or whatever Q stands for I'm assuming Q stands for question 
I'm, I'm, I assume Q stands for question. The flower bed one? Okay. Yeah, the flower bed one was a shape, like a tetris -y shape one. Figured that out pretty easy, actually. I just needed to know what, what, like, the unit of match squares each shape needed to be, and then I was kind of easily like, oh, it basically has to be this, and then I just bam, boom, 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 bam, bam, boom, boom, did it. So then, yeah, we did a decent amount after. There was another, there was a couple equation ones, there was a triangles kind of one, there was another tetris -y, this to split this shape into equal amounts of shape of the same shape and area one. Um, there was a unit of measurement one slash word one where something about approximately 30 centimeters and I didn't know what that was. So then RPB told us one foot is approximately 30 centimeters so then with that information was able to make the word feet as a unit of measurement and that was the answer but I do want to we should I can pull up Ms. Kiff's stream just to, to look at this VTuber thing just momentarily before we resume because I'm kind of curious myself And I don't know how long he'll be doing it for. Probably not very long. Though I imagine I'm sure there'll be clips, but... <sighs> Let me get a... Uh, window open here so we can take a peek. Where's the visual boy? But not a visual boy. Boom. Yeah, I'm sure it will be, but eh. already here. It won't take long. It won't take long to take a peek, right? Let's see. Oh, this stupid thing. Uh, some, some Travis got me. I like to do in Berkshire's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see what he looks like. Big anime girl is if you play. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah that those. Two oh, dude, good. this is so trash. What? What is this? I was expecting it to maybe look like him, but he obviously is not. And the whole bottom half of the body just doesn't move. Kind of have to respect it a little bit. Okay. Okay, that was enough for me. That that 30 seconds was enough for me, I think. Let's uh, let's go back to what we were doing. Let's go back to what we were doing. Yeah, I'm also very sick of that ad. Okay. All right. Let's resume. Fix the formula. Move one match to make the equation work. Two times nine equals seven plus eight. Hmm. Suspicious. Seven plus eight is 15. Two times six is not 15. Uh, one match. Hmm. Well, what can we change stuff with that's one match? We can make this an 8. We can make this a 6. 
That still doesn't work. Dip them. I dipped them in burger. You tell us. Smile. Yeah, I know. Right? Um, we can change this to a three. Uh, what else can we do with one match? We can't really change the seven into anything except a one. And then you can do stuff to bees. Um, just like an eight. But that's obviously not going to do a whole lot. With one match, what else can we do? Can we do... We could do seven minus eight, which, but that's negative one. So I don't think that would do anything for us. Um, hmm. And one match isn't enough to change... Uh, 16? What did I... Did I say something stupid? What did I say? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what did I do? What did I do wrong? Oh, 2 times 8 is 16. Is that what you were saying? And then I need to get 16 some, some other way. Oh, I see. I was asking what 2 times 8 was. I'm... I'm not always actually asking that. It's more just talking through the process. But, uh, you know, whatever. That's fine, too. Hmm. Two times nine is 18. We have to... Seven plus eight's 15, which is never gonna be really anything that I can get with one match. So it's gotta be like a double transformation. Seven plus six? No. Seven plus nine? 16. Ah. There it is. Makes he d I figured it out. I figured it out. Greedy matchsticks. It's an interesting title. Here <clears throat> is a large square made from four matches. Usually that's called the small square, but okay. By adding three matches and without changing the large square, make two medium squares, three small squares for a total of six squares. So this, so this is like a small square, I'm assuming is what... Well, wait a second. A large square. So what would a medium square be? Would this be a medium square? And then splitting that again? You'd have to double split that again or something. What the fuck? Why is, why are this, why is this suddenly, a, why is this a large square? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Two mediums, three smalls. Three smalls. Two mediums. Hmm. Okay, let me think. One large, which apparently this is large now. Two mediums would be half, right? Can't have anything really than half the size of that as medium. Two mediums. Okay, that's two mediums. Oh, that's four mediums. That's two mediums. And then you want... That's four smalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do I get three smalls? That's the question. How do I get three smalls?
Unless this counts as... Sm oh, no, no, that wouldn't make sense. Oh my god, yeah, the, the wording on this is so trash. Especially compared to how other stuff... This kind of square was referred to as a small square in other problems, and now it's, like, not. Which is obnoxious. without changing the large square. What does it mean by that? By not making anything with the large square? Like, am I not allowed to go in? Is that what they mean by that? That would be weird if that was the case. I imagine it has to, to some degree. Imagine it has to to some degree. Uh, hmm. Feel like the wording is making me confused, partially. Or that maybe I'm just not seeing it. Three matches. Adding three matches without changing the large square. It's really easy to add one more square. That's easy, then you go horizontal. But we want to make two squares medium. Two squares medium. Hmm. This is an easy way to do two mediums. Unless, like, no, it would have to be half, right? It would have to be half to be medium. Three small is where it gets a bit confusing. It's where it gets a bit confusing. What does not... Yeah, that's the thing. What does not changing the large one mean? Does that mean I can't touch it at all in terms of going inside and I have to go outside somehow? But that doesn't really make sense with just three. You can't really do a whole lot with just three. But the fact that it says that does make me think something. We're at five minutes, so hit. You should only add matches to the inside of the large square. So that's the exact opposite of how we interpreted it. That's crazy. That is the exact opposite of how we interpreted that. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. That is insane. All right. What? You should only add matches to the inside of the large square. Initial prompt. Without changing the large square. I can't move these pieces anyway. Why are you telling me this? Only add matches to the inside of the large square. What happens if I do this? Does that do anything? Those aren't medium squares. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, Sure First try first try pressing the check button we got there Just gonna act like that made sense 12 matches Here is a design constructed of four equilateral triangles made from four matches 12 matches Move four matches to make four equilateral triangles in a different design with vertical symmetry. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. 
Uh, it's not gonna work. I was gonna say, oh, you can make another one there. That's vertical. Or wait. When it says vertical, do they mean like you split it in the horizontal and flip it over vertical? Or do they mean you split it in vertical and you flip it horizontal? Ah, jeez. Well, I guess maybe, maybe the answer is given with the prompt here because the fact that you could split this one down the middle and you do the flip this way like a book and it already is symmetr symmetrical. So I would assume that means then you kind of turn the book sideways so it flips like this. Okay. That made sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That made sense. Okay. Four matches. How would this be? It would be up here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I like did it completely wrong first and I was like, wait, no, I have to flip it the other way. No, but I have to move one more? Oh no. Because this works. You flip that down, that should work. But cause, because it says one match left, must not be what they want. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, because I put this back here in the first place. Let's think. And then there's only two left and I can't do that. The four is a weird number to have to move. Four is a weird number to have to move. Because if you want to move like a whole triangle, you usually have to take three pieces. If you want to take just the end of a triangle, you take two. And then you go like this, you know, you move it the other direction. But since the other side up here only has one flat to work with, it's kind of weird to have to move something up there. Well, I guess if you work your body, you can use the top half as one, but then you kind of left strangling here a little bit. You can't really make that symmetrical because there's extra pieces chilling. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need... Well, that one was technically both. The one that I did where it was up here. That's technically both. Kind of. Well, no, right? That's horizontal. Then why why is it already vertically... Why is it already that I can take this and split it down the middle and it's symmetrical? I would assume that then they want me to make it so that it's... You flip it the other way. That it's symmetrical. Not... Right? Am I making sense? Is this explanation making sense? The book versus the whatever the fuck this is? <laughs> versus the book clap or the whatever this is? Yeah, so wouldn't this technically be vertical or whatever look their wording has not been the best at times so like this would be the this would be the flippy the hand up and down kind of symmetry if you split it down here horizontally but they want it vertically but if you already it's already vertically so then what's the point like why is this 
It seems weird that it would already be vertically symmetry and they want you to make it vertical symmetry. That just seems strange. Seems a little weird champ to me. I'm checking the hint. You'll be okay if you move the triangles without changing their size. That's not a hint I needed. <sighs> yeah, it's not really a hint I needed. Just make another one. But I already made one that works. I feel like that's the only one I know how to make work because you could take the ends off of both. Oh well, no, you really can't take the ends off of both, can you? And then you can't move. Moving one triangle by itself is fine because it's only three, but you somehow still need to make one extra match move. And that's what's like, all, I, all my brain keeps doing is like, move a triangle forehead, when it's like obviously slightly different than that. I mean, you do move a triangle, but you have to change something else. What about, no. It's like you need to do... <sighs> One... Vertical symmetry. Yeah, it's the it's the fourth one that's fucking everything up. The fourth one. Hmm. No, because then you'd have to do that here too. Mario BR tomorrow, that's true. That is accurate. Hmm. I'm feeling very dumb. Cause all I wanna do with the in the in the in my name. Whatever however that song works. Am I trying to do the book? Am I trying to do the book? Am I already doing the other one? Am I doing the book or am I doing the other one? Sounds like you guys said I should be doing the book. Hmm. Four triangles. Book. Okay. Need to make it like a book. With four matches. And still have four triangles. What the fuck? Oh shit. How am I gonna do this with four moves? Well... This is a way to do something in two moves. But then you're still stuck with like um, all of this stuff chilling. Not puddle, yeah.
Um, I am struggling. <laughs> I am struggling. Okay. Let's think. Triangles. Triangles. In a different design with vertical symmetry. Not quite. I feel like it could be something weird like that though, right? Wait, if you just move those triangles in the opposite way, isn't that still technically, they're just not connected? You just flip the middle triangles? Yes. That's all it was. Okay, nice. Four close, oh boy, here we go, a storybook. Four close siblings decided to split this land between them. Add 11 matches, that's a weird number, to divide the land into four equal parts, each connecting to at least one match of the other three. Oh shit, this is act this, this one's got a lot of stipulations. You know, stipulation. So, could be a little messy. I mean, it's definitely not just going to be down the middle, down the middle. That's just not enough. Four parts of equal area, each connecting to at least one match of the other three. That's the interesting thing. What's a different four shape? Right? You can't just connect this. This is there's no way this would be just a down the middle. Like middle middle. Because that's only four and four, and you're left with a couple extra matches. Which is illegal. Illegal maneuvers. So we have to think about another shape. Distribution that would get stuff to all touch each other. Which is weird. Um, let's see, usually, uh, so they need to be four each. So is there a way to make sort of a straight, straight line? Straight lines don't touch everyone, right? You go straight rectangle, straight rectangle, straight rectangle, straight rectangle, that doesn't work. Straight rectangle, 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 doesn't work. So, what if you did L's? Is there a way to make L's all touch each other? Not that I can think of. You would kind of, you would have the top left one not touching the bottom right one. Right? You go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Unless it counts the corners. Yeah, that's the thing. If it counts the corners, then easy clap. If it doesn't, then okay, maybe it's more complicated. But for now, I think I would like to just try the corners just because. It actually looks like we might not even have enough uh, matches for that, which is interesting. Not even close. Okay, maybe, I mean, it's close. We're missing, like, two. So it's not like that, which is interesting. Okay. Okay. What other, so, I mean, this is just straight Tetris, then. That means we should try T-shapes or something, right? We should try 
you know, some good old fashioned teas. Which honestly sounds like it could be the answer. Eh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm short. Maybe I'm short a piece. So is that, so okay, if it's, am I missing a piece anywhere? Do I got like two pieces overlapping somewhere? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, okay. So then I guess the only shape left would be Z shapes, right? Z or S's? They don't all have to be. Divide the four things in the equal area, not necessarily equal shape. Yeah, you just mentioned the same thing. So. Let's see if we start with a Z over there. That's a four. Then we get an L. Then we get... Okay, maybe it's not a Z. Maybe it's a combination of L's and Something else? Man's making, what are you talking about? Hmm. Uh, let me think. Had, no, that wouldn't work because this is five now. I feel like we're closer, but yeah, no, each one needs four. That's why I was like, oh, I'm short. I could, do, if I had a, if I had one more, this would be, again, the T's, the T's would work. The Z's take a lot of pieces to make, which makes me feel like that it's, that the T's are never going to be right. What if you did like a straight line and a T? If you did a straight line and then how would you, how could you divide these evenly with just two uh, pieces? Oh no, but this wouldn't be touching everything so that wouldn't work either. Oh, wait a second. I got it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. That one really was Tetrisy. Interesting solution. I wonder if there's another way to solve it, but I think, um, I mean, you saw me try the other ways of doing the same shapes for all of them. And uh, they always were usually a couple of pieces short. So I think I actually like how this one was designed, this puzzle in general, because it was definitely like very, very much a specific answer that you can get to. And it's kind of neat. The year is 2100. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Mm, might be earlier than that. Aliens planning to rule the Earth have started their attack, but what kind of attack is it? Answer by moving one match. <sighs> Answer by moving one match. Oh gosh. What is this gonna mean? An attack, huh? What kind of an attack is it? A Zion, a I feel like I'm never gonna under know what the answer to this is. <laughs> what um, 
What kind of attack? What kind of attacks are there? Surprise attack, global attack, sucker punch, war, fisticuffs, nuke, bombs, aerial attack, water attack, space attack, ground attack. This is a two, but could also be a Z. SOS. No. Two, but it could also be a Z. What kind of attack is it? 12 o'clock? Is that a thing? 12 o'clock attack? I don't feel like that means anything. Hmm. An attack. The aliens have started their attack. What kind of attack is it? Uh, super effective. Um, not very effective. Critical hit. Mm. One hit KO. Uh, knocked a fool out. Yeah, not feeling great about this one. Let's just uh, see if 12 o'clock is the answer. Okay. Okay. Hey, look, I didn't think it would be, but I figured I would throw it out there. Two, one. Zero, zero. Could also be a Z. A zoo attack. Is a zoo attack a thing? A zoo with an exclamation point. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're a little short on that. Uh, a, a XOO attack. A Z, yo. If you move this, does this make us think any things? Like moving this piece. Does that do anything for us? Does it make us think anything? How about this? A, a poo attack? A P a P P O P I O? A zap? Not bad. Definitely can't do that with one letter though. Or one move. Not a bad idea, I guess. Maybe we can find the answer on Mount Cornet. In time? Yeah, I think even just waiting another minute isn't gonna do much for us. Seems to be a pretty difficult quiz. What? Uh, also, the title of it is Apocalypse. Maybe that's helpful. Seems to be a pretty difficult quiz. What? An attack on the mind? Pop quiz? I can only move one thing though. That's a P, but like, what is that gonna do? <laughs> what is that supposed to do? This is Mount Coronet, as I mentioned before. Answer by moving one match. It seems to be a pretty difficult quiz. A pretty difficult quiz, huh? Pop quiz, I don't see how we can get that from one match. Zop. <laughs> Zap. Hey, look, uh, well, we're reaching here. Hmm. Man.
Mm, mm. And it's not gonna give us a which piece to move hint. Upside down. Oh, oh, one, two. Or oh, yeah, oh, one, two, or oh, oh, I, Z. Quiz. 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 What? Wait, did I do it wrong? Wait, that would be quiz. Quiz upside down? No? Doesn't like that? Pop quiz? Bro, how is this not it? Oh, what? No, this is ha this has to be it, but it's mad about something. The line was too big. The queue was the right way. The line was too far out. Rude. That was dumb. <sighs> okay. Unfair share. Add three matches to make this triangle parcel of land to three shapes with a 4-3-2-1 ratio. At first, I was just going to go down that, go down the middle or something, but okay. So you think about it, where like that's like you know half and half, or not half and half. Two sides that are almost the same, and then one that isn't. But then if you do this. Two, three triangles, one, two triangles. Yeah, that works. Three triangles. Oh, no, wait, that's three triangles. Oh, no, no, this is four triangles. Triforce. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. Boom. Yeah. Aliens quiz attack in 2100. Yeah. Remove as many matches as necessary to make the largest number divisible by nine. Oh God. Um, let's see. Nine. No, there's only three digits. It's gotta be a 100, uh, 100 something, right? 100. Can you do 90 something? No. Yes, no. No, 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 no. So then it has to be uh, 100 and whatever one would have the highest 10, but then have a one at the end of it. Um, so let's see. 181? No. No, 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 no. 171? 71. Right? Because I just did... No, 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 no. 90 plus 90 is 180. 180 minus 9 is 71. I'm actually going to uh, put us on the game music as we get towards the end now. Nine times ten is ninety. Ninety plus ninety, one eighty. One eighty minus nine, one seventy one. Interesting. So seventy one plus nine is. So is there something that is a number here and then eleven that nine would work with? 
then. Hmm. 90, 90, 180, 90 again. 70, 360, 450, 36, or 450, 540, 6, 30. 720 minus 11. Yeah. What? Well, technically, I could do a third, a fourth digit if I had seven. Or no, I can't. I have to remove matches. Oh, wait, I did it the wrong way. All right, these need to go over here. Wait. There we go. All right, all right. I was moving the wrong ones. No, no, no. Uh, it's correct. I just I was moving the wrong things. That's all. That's all. That's all. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know if you heard me trying to do the mental math, but yeah, I I, I was I was doing the each each 100 mark, and I just need to figure out which one had 20. And it was seven, seven, because 72, nine times eight, 72, or whatever it is. No, not times two. Yes. What? It doesn't matter. I knew what I meant when it happened. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, no, I was right, nine times eight, right? Nine times eight, 72. Nine times nine eighty one. Nine times nine eighty one. Nine times eight zero two. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, ever decreasing squares. There are fourteen squares, counting all large, medium, and small squares. Remove four matches to leave one large square, two medium squares, and three small squares. All right. So big square just means don't move the outlines, which is obvious. Uh, medium squares, you got one, two, three, four. So you need to remove two of them. That leaves you with one, two, three small squares, huh? Technically, the an answer. I think technically this is an answer, but it must not be what they want. One, two, three small squares. Medium square, medium square. You can't medium square this way, you can't medium square this way. Am I missing something? Maybe it doesn't like the fact that there's like the rectangles in the middle or something. But pretty sure that's technically correct. I guess we redo. Um, all right, fine. That only leaves one medium square. So that probably won't work. This would leave one, two medium squares. Right? I feel like I'm just doing the same thing that I just did. What did I, what did I do again? <laughs> I took out... 
Oh, no, no, I didn't do that. What I did was I took out all of these. And I was like, look, one medium square, two medium square, one, two, three. Hmm. But it doesn't like this. It does not like that. So... Can't just take out all four here. That only leaves one medium square. Hmm. What happens if I do something weird like this? What do we have? Only one medium square, correct? No, you have two medium squares actually, because look, you have the one here and the one here. And then you have a ton of little small ones. So if I go like this, that's three media three little ones. So I think that's it. One medium, one medium, one, two, three. Perhaps that other one I did allowed for other ones. I don't think it did, though. Pretty sure my other one also worked, but this was the one to make it work with taking out four matches. So there we go. Nice. Fix the formula. Is fix the formula going to be our last one? I, I guess it seems like it is. Oh man, we're about to- we're gonna finish, like, planned, planned streamer. Okay. Fix the formula. Move two matches to make the equation work. 3 plus 3 equals 18 plus 10. Easy. <laughs> easy. Ready? You wanna know how easy this is? 3 plus 3 Less than 18 plus 10. Put it in the books. We already know that it doesn't like us doing that because that's illegal. That's illegal. Barely legal. It's not barely legal. It's just completely illegal. Alright. What do we got for 9 plus 9 equals 18? 9 plus 9 equals 10 plus 8. Never didn't have it. All I did was like, all right, what are two things to make this number way bigger? Make those threes into nines with one each. Okay, I got a 10 and I got an 18. All right, well, let's just take the ones and boom, bam, boom, pop, boom. There it is. Celebrate good times, come on. Oh shit! Credits! I'm gonna these credits. Nine minus three equals six. <gasps> it's animated! There's the pig or something. Random shapes. Composer. Morihiro Iwamoto. Match bow quiz. Match bow quiz two. <laughs> you were here. You were here. The fish. I do. Th the animated things are at least somewhat cool. As opposed to like, hey, look at this weird shape we made you manipulate. This quiz. That one sucked. Triangles. Sales and promotion. Though whoever did, whoever was who, these three guys didn't do a good job. Whoever those three guys were, never heard of this game. <laughs> Research and development. You think those guys just basically threw a bunch of matches onto a table and then said, uh, "All right, let's try to make some things with matches." That's how we're gonna try to research. <laughs> How? Oh yeah, it says how back here. Because that was the answer to one of the puzzles. The pig, the cupid arrow. Four, whatever. Nine minus three is six. They're already repeating? Special thanks. Kentaro Kamimura and Emily, Emmy Kawago. Marketing. Ertain BB. The music to the game was pretty good when it was uh, around. How was the car one? Uh...
Oh, what the? Oh, so we could have changed how, like, the prompts looked, kind of. Interesting. Let's hear the other songs. Ooh. Damn! Ooh. I like this song. Let's hear C. I don't know what the trash bin is. I am scared to click the trash bin. I am not clicking the trash bin. I feel like that would throw out all of our things. So I don't want to really do that. The car one was go. Oh, the how one was like the price of something in a store. And what would you say to the salesman? You would say, oh yeah, we should save. Definitely should save. Okay. We should try. I just need to, I just need to, I just need to see that it's there. Just that, okay, it's there, it's there. Whew. Trash bin. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Well, we haven't done the time attack. I don't know if it's different or not. Let's try it. Move the match to make the equation start. Major, equation work. Move the match to make the equation work. No hints? Uh-oh. I'm so scared. Move one match to make the equation work. I'm so overthinking these already. Uh, I can, I can only move one? X and 1 is 11, and then 11. One times one. True. So is this you're gonna take puzzles we've already seen? There are 10 squares. Remove four matches to decrease the number of squares to five. Wait, we've done this. Oh no, it's a different one. Oh fuck. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. There are five matches scattered about. Move four matches, create a temple for a dice. I always forget which way it is. I always forget which way it is. I don't think it's this way. I always forget which one it is. We just always just kept trying them until we got the one we needed. Uh. I don't think it was this. No, it can't be that. I always forget which one this is. I we've I met, I've done this like twice. I just always forget what the answer is. That's the problem. What was the answer? It wasn't this, was it? You know what? Let's just let's just try it. 
Never mind. I don't know why I thought it wasn't. Moves many matches and she made never so divided by four. Uh Whew, that was quick, that was quick, that was quick. Here's the formula for eleven move and eleven is nominated. This is the move send a minute move one and the formula equals a hundred. Oh god. Wasn't this something crazy? Wasn't this something really stupid? Yeah, no, I, I, it couldn't have been that. Move one match to the front. Oh boy. Okay, okay. We only have to do 10 though. We only have to do 10. Oh man, I don't remember this one at all. I remember it being really I, that I hated it. I remember that I hated this one. of the formula equals 100. It was something stupid, I swear. It's not that... I feel like it's, it was something weird. It was something weird, dude. What was it? Oh, God. Does anyone remember? There it is. It, I knew I knew four was up top. I just yeah yeah yeah. There you go. Goldfish is facing left. Move four matches to face it right. Um. Fuck. Whew. Speed run. Let's play with nine. There's two matches here. Fuck. Arrange, add seven matches to make six squares. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Didn't we just do this one? again? Oh, no. How did I do this? Add two matches here. Add seven matches to make six squares. There's four. fucking phone. There we go. They just weren't quite elongated enough, that's all. They weren't quite elongated enough. My bad. Two matches to create a different equation. 2400. 241 equals 18. Oh god, what was this one? This was something really stupid, too, I feel like. Hmm. 241? Uh. 
Oh man, yeah, I don't remember this one. Two matches. Uh... Twenty-four hours equals one day. Yeah. I always... On the equation ones, I always forget about, like, doing the time thing. Yeah. Raise four pigs, you need to make a pig pen. You only have nine matches. As you can see, this way, only two pig... what they want me to do. Oh, four different total um, pens. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Moves many of them by two. I think this is wrong. There's one of them where it's different. Okay, eight minutes, not bad. No, no record! <laughs> I sh should I make this a uh, channel redemption? Time attack, matchsticks? I should make that a redemption. Do a, do a time attacks, matchsticks. That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, okay. All right. I think that is a probably a good place for us to stop for tonight. We actually did it. I wasn't sure if we would do it. We got real stuck on the first half of the A's as well as the end of the King section. But we kind of, for the most part, actually like owned that ending half of that A section. Like we kind of we kind of kicked its ass. See you back here in 22 hours. Probably earlier than 22 hours, actually.